Let's take a look at another example of a double replacement reaction. This time, let's take aqueous ammonium chloride and mix it with aqueous sodium bromide and figure out what's going to happen. Ammonium is NH4+, and chloride is Cl-, and sodium is Na+, and bromide is Br-. So ammonium chloride is just going to be NH4Cl, and that's aqueous. And the sodium bromide is NaBr, and that's also aqueous. Here's our double replacement setup where we're going to swap partners. So the NH4 is going to start dancing with the Br, so I'm going to make NH4Br. And the Na is going to combine with the Cl to make NaCl. Now this is nice because everything is balanced as written. It's a one to one to one to one ratio. And then we can check our solubility rules to see what's dissolved and what's not dissolved. Our first rule, all sodium, potassium, and ammonium salts are soluble. So NH4 is ammonium. So NH4Br is going to be soluble. We can say that that's aqueous. And NaCl well, that's table salt. We know it's aqueous, but again, the first rule, all sodium, potassium, and ammonium salts are soluble. So this will also be aqueous. It will dissolve in water. This is a little bit tricky because I don't see a solid here. We haven't formed a precipitate. Well, let's take a look at what our complete ionic equation would be. So I've taken my NH4Cl and broken it into NH4 and Cl, and I've taken my NaBr and broken those into Na plus and Br minus because those are aqueous solutions. They've dissociated into their ions. So all of these ions are aqueous. I can say in my complete ionic equation, I have these four ions in solution. Well, I can do the same thing with my products. NH4Br is aqueous, so I'm going to have NH4 plus, so that's aqueous, and Br minus, which is aqueous, by separating the NH4Br into its ions. And then I can do the same thing as NaCl. Na plus is still aqueous, and Cl minus is aqueous when I break apart the NaCl into its ions. When we did the complete ionic equation, one of the things that we did was we identified spectator ions, ions that don't change. We'll take a look. The NH4 plus is aqueous to begin. The NH4 plus is aqueous to end. The Cl minus is aqueous to begin. The Cl minus is aqueous to end. Na plus is aqueous, and Na plus is aqueous at the end. Br minus is aqueous, and Br minus is aqueous at the end. All of them are spectator ions. In fact, nothing is changing in this reaction. All we're doing is changing the order of the ions, but we're not making anything new. Because nothing is happening here, we can say that there is no reaction. Even though in the molecular equation it looks like we've changed things, once you get to the complete ionic equation, nothing actually happens. There is no precipitation here. There is no reaction. In order for precipitation to occur, you must make a solid. No solid, no reaction.